Boys Love, or as it's more popularly known as Yaoi, is a popular genre that primarily consists of love stories between male characters and has far more boys than other animes. If you're tired of excessively girly shots and want a story with a little more romance, these are the anime for you. This list will focus on the 10 best boys love anime out there for newcomers. But if you're an older fan, there might be also something new for you. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Mickey V, and this is ES Anime, and these are the top 10 boys love anime for new fans. At number 10, we have Classmates. The story isn't something different. There's your typical honor student, Rihito Saju, who is a quiet and shy boy with no friends, and your typical outgoing student, Hikaru Kusukabe, who plays guitar but sucks at studies. The two are part of the school's chorus group, and Hikaru decides to help Rihito with his vocals. And this begins an extremely endearing and pure tale of first love between two young boys, who probably never considered that they would fall in love. The movie is a slow burner, and the art is very simplistic, but that simply adds to its charm instead of taking away from the story. At number 9, we have Given. Released in 2019, this series is one of those exceptional boys love anime out there that doesn't pander to the niche hardcore fans by including unnecessary not suitable for work scenes. Instead, even casual fans can appreciate how the romance between these two teenage boys is handled. Much like any other romance one would see in any other shoujo series, the series is completely vanilla, has hints of angst, and has a romance that doesn't overshadow the overarching story of the show or the motivations of the characters. At number 8, we have Beryl and Sapphire. With every episode being no longer than 8 minutes, one would think Beryl and Sapphire won't be able to achieve much, and that's where they're wrong. This Chinese anime shows the progression of love between two males who are constantly put in different scenarios and have their feelings tested. In certain scenarios, they're young schoolboys, while in an alternate reality, one is a knight in shining armor down on his luck who can only get in the good graces of his king if he defeats the devil who happens to be his love interest. The show has several mini arcs, all of which are explored intermittently between other arcs, and they constantly keep their fans on their toes. <laughs> Number 7. We have Hybrid Child. This one is actually a relatively older anime that was released in 2014. It has three episodes, all of which have standalone arcs. The only thing common in all three is a hybrid child, a doll made by a particular doll maker famous for looking and behaving exactly like a human would. All three stories focus on the relationship between humans and their dolls. All of them have different levels of romance, maturity, and angst to them. Without a doubt, it's the third story that always leaves fans in tears. And you might want to watch this series with a tissue box by your side.
Number 6, we have Wei Kanji in Urdu Allah. Yet again, another Dongwa on this list, and this one has episodes that are only 3 minutes long. Story-wise, there isn't much to expect, but the animation refreshingly different and romance between two male leads is nothing but pure fluff. The basic premise is that of a human male Da Shu coming across an alien cat boy, Miao, who seems to be stranded on Earth. He takes the boy in, teaches him the ways of the human world, and in the process, ends up falling in love with him little by little, every single day. Mo fangirls are sure to find Miao cuddly and worthy. <laughs> Number 5. We have Spirit Pack Tamoko Ki is an exorcist who is considered to be very powerful in his world. Keika is a young and stupid boy who dies because of a freak accident. Tamoko offers Keika a deal to become his spirit shadow, which in turn will allow Keika to maintain his bond with the human world, even in his spirit form. Keika agrees, and thus begins a mildly tumultuous relationship between two strong-headed and stubborn men, neither of whom want to give in before the other. There's a constant bickering between them, but the bond they gradually develop soon makes them realize that they have become a lot more than mere master-servant. <laughs> At number 4, we have number 6. Xion is a young and one of many elite residents of the city number 6 who seems to be living a near-perfect life. However, his entire life changes the one day he helps a young Nozumi escape from his captives. Years later, he meets Nozumi again and helps him out, but this time, this kind act of him costs him everything. Shion is forced to leave his life at number 6 and is taken by Nozumi to where he and his kind reside, which is when Shion realizes how big of a bloodbath of innocence was needed in order to build the perfect little city he knew as number 6. Number 3, we have Modao Zushi. This series is only for those who can take in slow burning romance because even after two seasons, there is no love declaration between the two male leads in it. However, do watch it for its exceptional animation and its stunning imagery of ancient China where magic and supernatural objects are the norm. The voice actors have done an exceptional job, and this is one of those rare BLs out there that can proudly boast to have romance as just one element among many other elements in it. It is primarily an action thriller, and a lot of non-BL fans can't stop raving about how fantastic this series is. Number 2, we have Yuri on Ice. This one needs no introduction. Yuri on Ice was the anime of 2016, and fans, especially Fujoshis, can't stop gushing about how an LGBTQ romance was finally portrayed in a commercial series without it being problematic. The best part about this series is how both the leads are well into their 20s which makes it one of those BLs where youths aren't the focus. And at number 1, we have Banana Fish. Much like the case with Mo Dao Zushi, this is primarily an action anime that just happens to have a romance between its two male leads. Ashes and Eiji's kiss created huge waves among fans, and thankfully the response was mostly positive. Seeing how this series has a huge male fan base, it's definitely heartening to see men romances being normalized like this in anime genres outside of BL. And 
That's it for the list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Mickey V. This is ES Anime. And also check out my other videos. Until next time, goodbye.